Normally, when the high balls come out, you'll choose to move back or you'll choose to drive only or what? Depends on if it's very... Most of the time, it's what? Very deep. Most of the time... It's you move back, wait for ball bounce. Move back. Most of the time, I try to run back. Okay. Yeah. So, when like that, right? Actually, no matter you do drive only or no matter you want to let the ball bounce, right? So, when you run back, you cannot let the ball beside you. You must keep your ball in front of you. I right, get what I mean. So like that, when you when we run back from here, you should looking at that. You should then looking at here. You get what I mean. So means what you need to always run front of the ball. So you see, yeah. Cannot like that, because like that means you're late. Yeah. So even at the beginning, you saw it. The ball is right here. So, in the end, you still need to run to make sure you can look in front like that. And you get what I mean? When you play, yeah, yeah. So when you play, you need to see the court. All right. Let's see. When you do back swing, uh huh. When you play right, the high ball. If I here, can you see the court? So make sure the ball is right here. Then you can see the ball. Uh, see the court. It will be much easier. Okay. High ball is like that only. Then drive only was the same. You see the high ball. Like why sometimes drive only cannot because you're doing like that. So you look at here, you look in the sky, you look in the side. But if you're looking like that, you can see the court. Because you need target to aim. Over here, and then hit here at back. Coming, yeah. Already move back a little and then when you play, okay, theory is theory, but you need to know what your opponent thinking, what your opponent doing. You cannot be it's like, oh shit, and run. No, it's like, okay, coming. Maybe this one, maybe this one. Yeah, because you see from the doing the action, you can see because if you do like that, of course they want to whack. But if they, they're going like that, they already shift their balance to behind, of course they will lob. Or sometimes they just put the racket like that, of course lob. So you can run first already. Yeah. Your partner right here. When you come out, you're just standing where? There. Here. Right. Front one step here, right? Or to the line, right? But normal yeah, normally I prefer here. Unless your partner's standing here, so you need to stay here. Because here, because if you're standing here, the ball will hit to your leg. Your your shoes already. But one step in, the ball will hit to your knee only. Okay, you get what I mean? You get more front, you'll get mo much more easier. Because you need to think it's like a playing you, a card game. What card you have? Your partner is a card. Your partner can do what? One skill is one card. Alright, but your partner cannot do in front. Cannot do cover the lob. Only standing here for blocking. Then she, she can then just set it behind. Now, this is on the experience. Okay, let's work on that first. Okay, remember when you do high ball, let make sure you can see the ball, uh, see the court when you hit. All right. Okay, and I'm back. Can see the court or not? So that's why your ball getting short, right? That's it. So you don't need to keep running to the side, run behind a bit. Because this is you, you keep running like that. But run like that. To behind more. Yeah, that's why you should bounce already. Because I think the ball will bounce at the line there. So you see, when you feel easy, it's what? You stand behind the ball. It's not you standing beside the ball. It's not so difficult, right? Because only when you feel like that. Why you feel awkward when you're in the match? Because you do like that, you can't see the court. Means what? You sideways a lot. You're difficult to turn it back. But if you let the ball in front, the way you can see, you just go a little bit. You don't need to turn. 